pretty morning. I think I'll start this morning off seeing how the ledge drifts are. Not really what we're after, but that is a trout. I said I've caught speckled trout doing this. This is a gray trout or a weak fish if you're in the northern part of the country. You're only allowed to keep one of those a day, so if I'm gonna run into a lot of them on plastics, I'm gonna wait till I gut hook one. Eating glass minnows too, huh? Oh, this water's really clear. I'm gonna bump it to 30 feet. Seeing some birds. I wanna see some surface life. I think there's a bunch of bluefish here as evidence of this. I don't know if we should be maybe switching to metal jigs right away then. I know there's been some big whiting around already too, so I kind of want to catch a few of those. Let's see what we can do here. There's a lot of life under my sonar here. It's just a pile of stuff to find out. This might 99.9% .9 be bluefish though. Is that a shark? Could be. See that pile? A five and a half inch Elias shad. Sometimes these black tip sharks can get fired up. Could be a drum. It's a lot of bait around, so they're kind of going ham, I think. I felt a head shake that didn't feel like a shark, at least. seen color yet. A little nervous to see what this is. I think this could be a drum.
think that's a drum. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Nice start to the day. All right, great red drums to start off the morning. Got a mix of bluefish and gray trout. So, honestly, I just dropped the paddle tail down, thinking I was gonna get another bluefish bite. And it was at that point I was deciding if I should be putting on a metal jig or sticking with the plastic, because literally right before that, I got my lure chopped up by a bluefish. And there was a lot of like birds and stuff up top at that moment when I hooked up. Like there was bluefish up top. I mean, my sonar is piled up with stuff pretty consistently. This second drift through here, I'm not seeing it quite like before. I don't know, I might put this away for now. I'm seeing a lot more smaller stuff busting, I get it but you can't keep a drum and it's just fun to catch one or two. Sometimes I just like want to move on right after that. Try to catch something different. Let me get any more really big marks again. I'm gonna stick with some smaller profiles too. I think there's every type of fish under the sun feeding here right now. So I have to be on and off small lures, big lures. Small bluefish. It's drum we're feeding under these guys for sure. It's funny the amount of times you find predators like striped bass and drum under bluefish because they're they're feeding on the scraps. Perhaps the, the stripers are pushing up the main forge. Yeah, that's not really the size I'm after though. That's probably barely a legal one, if that. Okay. Getting a couple more of these, we know not to mess with them. Oh, broke me off. It's definitely real busy with all sorts of fish under my kayak. I don't know if there's any drum under me, but I think there's all right, let me try this guy. Nolan caught a keeper grouper on it, so. <laughs> Let's see if I can catch anything good on it. I haven't used these, I'm gonna lose mine instantly to a bluefish. I will guarantee I'm gonna get half a bounce out of this thing until then I'm gonna have a bluefish on instantly. Weird lore, man. Oh no. Seems like it works for mackerel.
huge schools of fish under me here. Come on, almost caught you. Interesting lore. Not sure how I feel about it. I think I kind of like it. Wow. It's one of the biggest pig fish I've ever seen. Slow pitching on the slow pitch jig. Not seeing too much life deep, so let's try some of this mid range stuff.
sure on this boat. drum. Nice drum on the slow pitch. That was a little more challenging because I was drifting right into a boat tanker. So, mm, not not ideal, you know. Usually just free drift. Because one, one and a half mile an hour current, you know, it's not easy. Anyway, let's see what else we can catch. Switched off to a slow pitch jig off the paddle tail. I've been trying to catch, I don't know, just one of those things that kind of catches everything. So, second drum. This time of year, sometimes it's all straight drum. It's a really enjoyable morning right now. Um, seen a lot of variety of fish too, so we'll see what happens on this next drift. It's good to see those hooks held up on that drum. I think those were number two hooks. Went pretty hard on the drag too as I got closer to that boat. Wasn't a lot of current here, so. I really like 20 gram jigs for most of my jigging um, and fast current, etc. Because I jig to about 40 feet typically. 20 grams is the size I like. All right, I'm gonna reset. Try to keep a different contour this drift. Just changing contours every drift. Some drifts it's just straight bluefish and small fish. Other drifts, I guess it's gonna be big drum. Try to catch a couple fish for dinner here. I don't have my measuring device with me, so I don't know if those mackerel earlier were a keeper size, but you know what? I'm gonna get a couple bluefish out of this. think got them boiling all around me maybe I won't oh no dummy 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 all right um like literally the jig just hits the bottom and there's fish just piling on it right now and I'm just gonna wait till it gets tight Fish. All right, I'm gonna keep a couple. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I've decided. I'm gonna keep some bluefish today.
give them some love man just give them a little bit of love that's all the love they deserve oh. The smaller bluefish do deserve a little bit of love. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's a nice mackerel. Cool. It's a better one than the ones I was catching. Yeah. All right. Big fish and dinner. It's a six cents divine jigging spoon. It's definitely a big bass spoon, but that's a nice mackerel right there. At least for the inshore stuff, you know? So I'm gonna keep this guy. Nice. Okay, and look what that mackerel spit up there, man. All the glass minnows you'd imagine. And I've seen Albies here before, but it's been like so, it's rare. Covered in mackerel slime. Glad I haven't gut hooked one of these guys. It could be a little delicate. It's like a better fish. You know, another one I could have side hooked. Yeah, I do side hook these guys sometimes, huh? All right, you come with me. You know, when, when they eat, they slash in all sorts of crazy directions. Bluefish? What is this? This is a bluefish. Right, bluefish number two. It's a slightly larger one. Keep another one of these guys. Do some smoked fish this weekend. It'll be fun. Actually, the size I would have preferred to kept over the first one. Same deal like the Spanish. Kind of bleed them out.
definitely grew up eating these, so. You know what? With all the doom and gloom on a lot of other types of fish, sometimes you just gotta give the Sometimes you just gotta give these other fish some love, right? Ones that don't get love, I'm gonna give them love, don't worry. It's a nice fish. Do I have to let go of spot lock here for this one? I really don't want to. Let's do it. Let me mark this though. This seems like it's a good spot for now. At this point in the tide. This fish might rip me out of the kayak. Let me get planted in that seat a little better. Hope I don't have a fray in my leader from all those bluefish though. This is definitely a concern I should have here. Be a drum, it's coming up. Could be a shark though. Overdue for one today, I think. Later. Where's my lip grip? Oh, popped them. Guess I had a fray in the line there. Good thing those aren't really heavy hooks. That fish will be fine. It's not part of the plan, but I can imagine how frustrating it is. You're fishing like in a king mackerel tournament, like another fish nips your line and you lose them because of that. I was pumping hard though, man. 
probably harder than I should have been, but you know, you want to get these fish in quickly sometimes. Man, that was just phenomenal fishing. I mean, there's big fish, there's stuff like bluefish and mackerel, and I'm sure there's, you know, gray trout are around. I'm sure there's all sorts of fish to catch today. Wind's starting to kick up now, though. Birds are still working. Everything that hits bottom, bluefish, though. All things considered, that was a lot of fun. Check the video's description, links to everything used. Um, metal jigs were good. Got super lucky with my red on a plastic in the morning. Um, I used mostly one ounce jigs today, three quarter ounce on my paddle tails and uh, a couple other jig heads. Um, that six cents divine jigging spoon seemed to like work really well on the mackerel too. Should probably pick up a couple more of those. It's just a really compact profile. I think it matched those glass minnows really well. With everything else I used, I really didn't get any more Spanish mackerel on. Just that first jigging spoon from Six Cents. So it's got like a white color. Just making one long drift now, just to see. It seemed like all the, a lot of the life was concentrated where those bluefish were feeding, uh, dropping glass minnows down. There were so many glass minnows on the surface over there. So, all right guys, let me, uh, Head back home. Thanks for watching. I always enjoy Spanish mackerel smoked. I typically do it with the larger ones, so uh, brined it overnight. Just gonna lay it out on the drying rack, put it back in the fridge. It's one of the most fun ways to have these fish that are, you know, sometimes not the most well loved out there in the fish world, but give them a little extra care. You always have a great meal out of them. The definitive way of having Spanish mackerel and bluefish, in my opinion. We just smoked these, so that's what we did with them. Guys, thanks for watching. Catch up with you on the next video.